around 1992, I got uh, booked on the college circuit. It's called NACA, National Association for Campus Activities. And I was um, booked at uh, 75 colleges in, at one time over the course of the year, not in one night. That can't happen. But it was uh, over the course of uh, the school year, I do 75 different uh, dates. And so one of the uh, things that were set up that I was going to do 10 schools, uh, colleges and universities in Texas doing stand-up comedy, right? Um, and it was really exciting and fun and going to campuses and students like, ah, sometimes in those uh, cases, it's the first comedians uh, young people have ever seen live in their life. Uh, they might've seen them on TV, but they don't go to nightclubs. They're not old enough. And so on campus, the first time they ever saw comedians. So they're like, electric, like, oh my God, this will be great. So I'm on tour. I'm doing all these schools and I go to Texas. I'm doing 10 schools in that area. So one day I'm in the car. Uh, I knew I was doing, going to drive to 10 different colleges, universities in this area. So I rented a really nice car. It was a, a silver bluish Lincoln. And it was very sleek and rode like butter, just sliding down the highway. And I was going down this highway and I, and I made sure, because I knew I was you know, in Texas and things could be questionable. I set the cruise control at 55 miles an hour. That was back then where the top speed was 55 on highways. I had it set at 55, so I know I wouldn't be over in any way whatsoever. So I'm going down the highway and uh, CHP, not CHP is California, so that's like the Texas State Trooper was on the other side. He's coming, boom, and he passed me going the other way. And through instinct, as a black man in America, I instinctively look at my rearview mirror and I can see him turning around. He's turning around, he's hopping across the median and woo, lights me up and boom, shoots up behind me and pulls me over. So I immediately know to have my windows down and hands on the steering wheel. I can't just sit there. Like, like I guess many people do. I gotta have my hands clear sight, right? And so um, he comes up to the car and his first words were, where'd you get this car from? Which was a direct slam to me. I mean, what do you mean, where'd I get this car from? He didn't say, do you know how fast we're going? Anything like that. He said, where'd you get this car from? I said, I rented it. He said, oh, yeah? I said, yeah, I, I, I rented the car. He's like, okay, um, do you know how fast you were going? I said, yeah, I, I, do, I do. I know exactly how fast I was going because I set the cruise control at 55. He said, you were over. I said, I'm... I'm certain I was an officer, almost positive, because I had it locked at that point. He's like, okay, so you say you rented the car, let's see the rental agreement. At that moment, I realized the rental agreement is in the trunk, it's not in the glove compartment. He's like, oh, so you don't have it, huh? And he kind of moved his hand back near his hip, not only, the, but kind of near, he's like, okay, step out of the car, let's get it out of the trunk. So he backs up, and I'm about to go into the trunk, and he says, hey, the jacket you got on, I had on a, a jacket from LA and it said um, uh, Fox TV's Comic Strip Live. There was this comedy show where comics did stand up. He looked at the jacket, he said, are you on that show? Are you on the show? Have you been on there? I said, yeah. He said, me and my girlfriend watch that every week. What'd you do when you were on there? I said, I did E.T., the extraterrestrial, out E.T. But he said, we saw you, we saw you. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm getting the, um, the rental agreement out. He said, no, we don't need to see that anymore. He said, would you like, um, where are you going? I said, I'm going to uh, uh, the college, uh, TCU, right up here. I'm performing there tonight. He's like, would you like a police escort? I was like, yeah, of course. So he gets in his car and he escorts me all the way to the college, probably only two miles away from there. We get to the college. And he goes, woo, woo. And everybody's like, hey. And all the people at the school are like, oh my God, that's amazing. Now I got a police escort. But they didn't know the backstory before that. But the thing about that is, I didn't recognize it until just a couple of days ago. Just a couple of days ago, I realized that since that day, back in 91, 92, 30 plus years ago, ever since then, Ever since then, I always have two or three television show jackets in my trunk 
wherever I go. Because I need to be able to prove on the spot that I'm not just a black body you'll be able to abuse and move on. There might be consequences because this guy's from a show. This guy's from the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. This guy's from that. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that, but I know that's what saved me that time. I didn't realize I've been doing that for almost three decades now. But things are changing. There's certain areas in town, I don't even think to maybe say, you know, let me put it in the front seat. Sometimes when I'm driving certain areas, I make sure it's in the front seat or I have it on. But certain areas since then, maybe I can let it slide. When I'm at the marsh, I don't need a jacket, not just out of notoriety, it's out of the diversity that is there. Stephanie curates the marsh with every walk of life. Not out of a mandate, it's who she is. And so I dig it. So of course we've gotta do what we need to do to keep change moving, vote appropriately, keep our eyes open as they try to change voting rights and things of this nature. But uh, change is around, change is upon us, but not, let's not let go of it. We can't get lazy. You know, we got the right folks as far as best we know how in there now, but we can't let up. Gotta make sure things keep changing and they are changing, but let's not let up. 